And thank God they didn't make me come back the next day or say, well, we'll call you, you know. Anyway, the thing was is that he said, well, guess what? You know, I, you know, maybe I look whacked out on my videos now, and that's why, you know, some people have been said, you know, yeah, yeah, you're like really you're good there, guy. But hey, you know, now officially, to be honest, even though I've been clean this summer for 10 years, I know what, um, I know what a happy pill is. Because, I, in a way, I feel like I got a little peace. Just a little bit. You know, and I hate to admit it because I'm kind of embarrassed about it. I mean, I'd rather be strong and brave and balls to the walls, tough enough to freaking handle it and go out and get the job and, you know, and handle my damn responsibilities like a normal person instead of being some wackadoo who's freaking, oh, she naked, she got herself in it. But anyway, the point is, is if they cut those off, I don't know how I'm going to afford medicine. What am I going to do without insulin? You know, I mean, you can't go and work enough to freaking feed yourself and pay for freaking your medication. Um, since I basically got drummed out of J.C. Penney's I was working at because they were they were closing their branch, which is now a big super Walmart. Maybe I should go apply at the big super Walmart. You know. I just hope I don't make too much. What are you going to do? You know? No idea what I'm going to do. And if I, I walked into a pharmacy one time and I said, well, um, pharmacy's closed, or the clinic is closed. I thought it was like $14 for a bottle, but it turns out it's 100 And that's for 1,000 cc's. It just doesn't make sense. You know? just feel betrayed, betrayed by everything. And it's like, damn it, I'm not just going to lay down and freaking die, you know? None of us should have to. Oh, dramatics. You know, I, I kind of caught myself doing a little dramatics on the, on the other side of the glass. And as, when I worked in um, uh, retail, you know, you realize that when you see an irate customer, you just give them the runaround. Of course, I started getting a few raised eyebrows when I started talking about patients' rights. You know, that raised a few eyebrows. You know, maybe if I knew a little bit more about that. But see, once you know something, you pretty much put so much effort into it that you can put so much effort into working. You know, it's a pretty much a stupid job in itself to, to have to know your rights, the, your medical rights, your legal rights. I mean, anything you know about, you can easily avoid by just having what you need. Anyway, I'm ranting. I'm just, I don't know. What the hell do you think, Barry? I think you're scared, dude. I got scared in the friggin' pooch! Ah! And you're wagging the shut up, Barry. Wagging the wagging. Shut up, Barry. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know. You know, I uh, I think I I don't know how it's gonna work, but I think some of the medicines has got to go. Some of the other things got to get changed around, and something in my life got to change too. Cause this is just crap. No one should live like this. And this is just someone who has a minor problem. I've seen people walk in with needing operations, getting transferred from hospitals, having heart problems, internal problems, needing operations, having medicines, being stuck with forms, uh, being told, sorry, no luck here. Go back to the emergency room and try again. Whoo! Back to the shoots and ladders. You know, your medical health care 
should not be chutes and ladders. This is bullshit. You know, I hope I see a day when Obama's uh, universal health care comes through because I, because I'm going to go back to work and I'm going to pay the stupid taxes. And then I'm going to see what kind of health care I can get. Something's got to be better than this. Anyway, that's it. All right? Okay? <laughs> what are you looking at me for? You're a Oh, okay. Anyway, that's all.